Hello everyone. In this video, we will see classes and functions from fourth module. So, classes and functions in the sense, in the inside the class means the class can also have a function, which means you can write a function that takes program programmer defined objects as a parameters and returns them as a return. So, it returns as a result. Means a programmer can define a class and sorry programmer can define a function but it is defined under a object of a class and so we will see an example of a class time which represents a time of a day means the attributes will be hour minutes and seconds so class time will have hours minutes and seconds so small t is a time which we are making use as an object name so time is equal to class name as a function so time will be object for the class time so we can create time dot hour time dot minute and time dot second the object diagram looks like this for the class time we have an object time with small t which is hour minute and second now we will see what are the types of functions in the what are the types of function that we can make use from the class first type is pure function so pure function is a function where it will take the attributes of classes like uh, it takes the objects as a attributes or um, parameters passed to the function and it will only make use of those objects but will not change any values from the called objects so if you call the function add time, if you call the function add time with t1, t2 are the two objects passed as an argument, then sum will have one more time object. Sum dot hour, sum dot minute, sum dot second will be updated with the help of t1 and t2 values, but t1 value and t2 value will not be changed. So this is called pure function. So pure function is if it does not modify any objects passed to it as an argument and it has no effect like display the value or getting user input or rather than returning a value. So then it is called as pure function. So we have an add time function like add time function. So here is an function add time which is had start time as 9 hours 45 seconds and zero, 45 minutes and 0 seconds so duration is 1 hour 35 minutes 0 seconds if I call add time with start and duration I can get done means print done class method with 10 hours 80 minutes and 0 seconds but it will not change the values of start class or duration class but it will only update in the add class and it will return the value done so here is an improved version of it so sum will be calculated with the help of t1 and t2 but it calculates sum based on the 60 seconds and minutes if seconds is more than 60 then sum of seconds will be reduced to 0 and minute will be updated with 1 if minutes is more than 60 then minutes will be means the next minute will be updated to 0 I means 0 or the more value like if it is more than 60 then the value will be minus with 60 and remaining value will be kept and hour will be updated with minute so this is like updated version of your functions where here in the previous example we saw minutes is showing with 80 but with this two if statements then it will calculate seconds and minutes with 60 if it is more than 60 then if it is a second which is more than 60 minute will be updated and second value will start from 1 if it is a minute which is more than 60 if it is crossing 60 then 
hour will be incremented with 1 and it will start it will start minute with 1 to 60 again next one is modifiers sometimes it is like useful for the function to use modify the object to get the parameters means here once the function is called then the parameters are passed as an object but you can even change the parameters objects in, inside the call function these type of functions are called modified so in the in that case the changes are visible to the caller means if you call the function with object t1 and t2 those objects or the start and duration classes as an object those classes is also updated with the modified values then we call it as means then we call those functions as modifiers increment means which adds a given number of seconds and uh, seconds to the time objects that can be written with modifiers so increment is a method here with the time and seconds time dot seconds plus which is incrementing the time module itself with time so the time method which you have used is time object which you have passed as a param parameter is changing its value in the increment method so this is called modifiers next one is prototyping and planning so prototype is like a plan created or a prototyping versus plan in the sense planning is just a blueprint and prototype is a model given to the blueprint so whatever you plan prototype will have a design development means it will have a small module development to it to development plan demonstrated here is called prototype and patch means the method what we are using is called prototype and patch for each function a prototype is written that written that performed a basic calculation then tested it patching errors along with the way means here in our uh, syllabus what we are doing we are creating all the prototype functions with respect to the different topics and later on we will patch all those prototypes together into a one complete design development so this is how we have planned our program so whatever the function i'll be explaining at last the time function will be I'll show you the complete program by small small functions adding together as a patch of prototype and a developed program of that small functions in one big program. So this is about today's class. I hope you understood the topics. Thank you.